And good morning, Math Masters. Welcome to Eureka Math in the Morning with Mr. Leggett. Got my glasses on. Got my Joshua Tree hat on. I'm all set for some math. So what we're going to do is we're going to got a problem set, and it is page 61, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and make a note of that. You can go ahead and pause this recording, and it's page 61. And today's date would be... Let's see, 11, 17, 20, 20. All right. So go ahead and pause the recording and get your problem set up. Page 61, 11, 17, 20, 20 is our date. And let's go ahead and get right into this. Now that you've got your problem set, your copycats, uh, it says when you divide, um, I'm getting a little closer here. Wow, Mr. Lady's eyes. When you divide 94 by 3, there is a remainder of 1. So they've already given us the answer here. We're going to. Um, divide 94 by 3, there is a remainder of 1. That's what we know. So let's model this problem with place value disk. So we're going to model the problem with place value disk. And then we're going uh, uh, in the place value, in the place value disk model, how did you show the remainder? So remember this from yesterday? Let's get right to it. So our problem is 94 divided by 3. Our divisor is 3. Our dividend is 94. We already have our answer, right? Well, we know there's a remainder of 1. So we put that right up here. R1. Okay? So let's get busy with our place of value disk. I'm going to get rid of this thing, get rid of that. And here we go. We have our ones and our tens, and I'm dividing by three. So I'm going to put this in groups of three. So 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then we have four over here. One, two, three, four. Let's put these into groups of three. One group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three. Let's go ahead and do another group of three over here. We have one group of three. And I'm going to go ahead and circle my remainder here. Okay. Maybe put some little, yeah, yeah, I'll put a little things like this, just to show it's a remainder, not grouping by three. So let's go to the standard algorithm. We know three times three right here is what? Three, six, nine. We subtract. Nine minus nine is zero. We bring down the four. Three times one is three. And we're ready to subtract. And look at that. Four minus three is one. And there's our remainder one. We can check with multiplication. Why don't we do that? We take the Divid, or excuse me, the quotient of 31 right there, and we multiply it by the divisor, which is 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 9 is 9. Look, it's not 94. It's 93. Oh, got to add the remainder on. Plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. And bring down the 9. And now take a look. They are the same. So we know our answer is correct. And it's asking us uh, in the place value disk model, how did you show the remainder? And we could write down here, I showed the remainder by circling. The remaining one in the one's place. So go ahead and pause if you need to. So that's how we showed it. I showed the remainder by circling the remaining one in the one's place. Maybe I should have put a box around there. That would have been a little different. All right. Let's go ahead and continue on to number two. It says, Cayman says that 94 divided by 3 is 30 with a remainder of 4. Huh, this is what this character Cayman is saying. 94 is 30 with a remainder of 4. We've already proven that wrong. He reasons, though, this is correct because 3 times 30 plus 4 equals 94. That's correct. 3 times 30 plus 4 is um, 94. They're asking us, what mistake 
He just came and made. Explain how he can correct his work. Okay, well, the big mistake he made is this. Let's get busy writing. Cayman's mistake, and please write this down because I think it'll help you learn a thing or two, is that his remainder, because he says there's a remainder of four, right? His remainder is greater than his divisor. Because look, he's saying up here there's a remainder of four, but he's dividing by three, right? Instead of 30, oh, excuse me, that means he can divide more. If your dividend, the number being divided, is greater than your divisor, the number doing the dividing, of course you can divide more. So instead of that answer, we can say instead of 30, comma, he can make 31 groups. Ninety-four, as we proved above, divided by three equals thirty-one remainder one. So you see what he did? He stopped when he could divide some more. He stopped. He said, okay, it's 30. If we look back here, he said, okay, it's 30 and a remainder of four. But no, he could he could group another group of three here. So it would be 31. So Cayman's mistake is that his remainder is greater than his divisor. That means he could divide more. Instead of 30, he can make 31 groups, and 94 divided by 3 equals 34 with a remainder of 1. And notice Mr. Leggett starts his sentences with capitals and ends them with periods. That's how we should do it. All right. After this, go take a little break. Shake your hands out. That was a lot of writing. And uh, come on back. Go use the restroom. Get a drink of water. Tell mom and dad you love them. Make sure baby brother or baby sister is in their class. Run around the house, pet the dog, feed the cat, do what you got to do. But come on back for part two of the problem set. And now I got to look over here. Hold my glasses off. Whoops. Screen pacify. I hope I did this right. And we'll see you in a little bit.